Finally, he's back. After over a year without a single upload, Oversimplified has returned. And we're talking about Hannibal. I don't know why this shows that I watched this. I have not seen this yet. Obviously, a year ago, I discussed how I was featured in Oversimplified's first Punic War videos. That was pretty crazy. And it was also Rare Mustache Drew. I need to bring that back. What the hell is this advertisement? <laughs> what the? So for everybody's sake, myself included, I'm going to watch the previously the recap video. Seemed inevitable. So if you put a very strategically important island Sicily. between them, Two plus two equals war. Okay, like I said, I covered all this before in the past, but I'm always learning new things from Oversimplified. So we have battles between the Carthaginians Sicily or Sicily. Sicily was an island. Islands are surrounded by water. Sure! So the Romans are kicking butt right now, but things are going to be different because we're going to be focusing on Hannibal. Hannibal's like a crazy dude. I can't wait to see how he's depicted in this series. I guess we're just going to have to go ahead and build ourselves a Look war how this fleet, is like an epic trailer. From scratch? Love the uh, the way Romans build boats, just bash into people. They developed ingenious new ways <laughs> of waging war. Yep, they attempted pretty much. an invasion of the Carthaginian heartland. Look at this thing; it's unbelievable. Damn. That's thick. And whenever disaster struck them, they always came back again and again. I just the fact that Oversimplified's been doing this for like what five, six, seven years now, and the quality is still so high. That's what's so impressive. The Romans have built another fleet. Oh, for goodness sake! The Carthaginians later sent. Yeah, the Romans the just round three, round four, round time. five. They A just kept going, Hamilcar kept fighting Barca to the island. Ow, no! But in the end, it was Roman determination that won the fight. But we're not over don't yet. Care. <laughs> and you have to pay us twenty-two hundred talents of silver. Over the next 20 years. I carumba! That I think, will cripple us! I don't know One if day, everyone Carthage knows. Will have its revenge. Oh, here we go. My beautiful son. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, that's right. You we left off on this note. Hannibal. Vengeance. Oh man, this is gonna be crazy. Oh man. Finally, we get answers to the memes. Something, something about the elephants going through the Alps. All right, Carthage, 241 BC, immediately after the first Punic War. So again, to set the stage, we're still talking about the rise of Rome. Like we're still far before its peak in 117 AD. These results will lead to that epic empire eventually though. This is pretty much their origin story after all. It's kind of like the third act of their original origin story movie where they have to fight the big bad or big good. They could be the villains depending on where you're coming from. All right. Mercenary Appreciation Day. Let's hear it. <laughs> okay. Thank you one and all for your hard work fighting in the first Punic War. Would have been nice if you'd won. <laughs> Maybe tried a little harder. But it's all but good. But this isn't the finger pointing convention. I know you all well, have one maybe thing kind on your is. minds. Hey, when are we all getting paid? <laughs> <laughs> That's all that matters. Show me the money. Remember you lost your... Okay. Jim, why don't you tell them? I'm not telling them, you tell them. Ugh. Oh boy. Look, you're not we don't get <laughs> we don't got the money. What? We lost the first Punic War. You did take the, the L. Romans a ton of reparations. Of course we can't pay you in full. Let's burn this place <laughs> to the ground! <laughs> I get that. Hey, hey! Don't burn this place to the ground. Come on, fellas. Will killing us really make you feel better about your money? Yes. Yeah, of course. Oh, those are some Way cool go, effects. Sir. Shut up, Jim. You're fired. I oh, guess man. that makes two of us. Huh? 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 And lit on fire, too. Here we go. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, man. There's going to be so many memes about this, like, forever now. There's, like, a direct correlation between when Oversimplified released a video about a, a certain historical event. Like, literally the entire public now knows about that existence. We won't ever be able to escape those memes. Like, in which the is good. Of the first We're all on the same war, page. Carthage's disgruntled like, you have to watch this stuff if you're in the community. Work, because it's such a staple. And Carthage <laughs> found itself caught up in an extremely it's like doing destructive homework. mercenary war. The Ooh. panicked Carthaginians hired more mercenaries to fight the mercenaries they couldn't afford. Are they to pay. Roman? And Carthage came dangerously close to collapse. All the while, just because of the, the water, chaos in the mercenaries there was Rome. Watching. <laughs> Look at those morons! We just kicked their ass in the first Punic War. This is reminding me of all the great um, alternative history mods out there in like map games, paradox games, talking about a universe if like well things went a little bit differently for Carthage. Mercenaries are revolting. <laughs> yeah. Wait. First Punic War? You mean there's going to be a second Specific one? It all depends. We're definitely <laughs> taking advantage of this. <laughs> Thousand yard stare. Me going back in time and asking if it's the first or second Punic War to a soldier? So almost certainly yes. The Romans <laughs> did in fact take so they advantage knew. of the situation. 
Amongst the chaos, I mean, look at on the how much Carthage still had. Sent out a cry for help to Rome. Hot diggity wow. dog, said the Romans. That's this is free a great, real estate. And real so real in, estate, baby. They went. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's our island. Hmm. Get the hell off. Hey, they requested Sardinia? our help. We're simply helping. They're probably going to oh, jump no, to Corsica next. Look, we're sending our own army to deal with the rebels, okay? How's that going to go when the just mercenaries clear, are chaos? We're not trying to start a fight with you, so... You know, don't declare war on us or anything. War. <laughs> we yeah. surrender. Great. And as part of the peace treaty, <laughs> we want Sardinia. We get to keep these islands. Oh, and Corsica. Okay, I was gonna say that makes it easy. No! Might as well get both. Were I also mad. noticed how Malta as is still under Carthage. The loss in the First Punic War wasn't bad enough. The Romans now took advantage of their mercenary problem. It is right there. Their islands. If they have this Sicily. shocking land grab was pretty hard to justify, even by Roman standards. Wow. Additionally, that's the low. Romans now demanded Carthage pay them even more money on top of what was already owed. If Rome was trying to make Carthage as mad as possible, they were doing a fantastic job. I the mean, of a second they were, war were their masters sown, and at, they were being uh, watered triggering. with Carthaginian tears. Resentment in Carthage only continued to grow. Eventually, Carthage solved their mercenary problem thanks to Carthaginian military genius Ooh. and hero of the There's first like a lot of video war, game effects Hamilcar I'm noticing. Barca. He sorted those naughty mercenaries out nice. with some good old-fashioned atrocities. You got to. Oh, man. Surprised he didn't blind them and send uh, one back. I'm, I'm talking about uh, Vlad the Impaler moment. War was over. Oh, Still, man. Car over some flights got to do a video well about that one day. In Carthage, mere decades ago, they were the top dogs in the Western Mediterranean. Now, after the crushing defeat in the First Punic War and a huge bill to pay the Romans, Carthage was hmm. well and truly under Rome's thumb. This is really making, giving like references to uh, Germany after World War One. Does anyone else feel that way? Like you're setting up the world for a second massive conflict in a way because of the massive reparations they can't possibly pay. What on earth were they supposed to do? If so this is going to pretty much unite their former strength, and rally the Carthaginians. They now more than anything. Revenge. Money. Oh, but money as too. long as they owed Rome a bazillion dollars, there was nothing they could do. Fortunately for them, amongst their ranks, there was one big hunk of a man with one big clump Hannibal of a brain. Yet? Me! Hamilcar Barca! Yes! Oh, Hamilcar. Wait, why do you all have the exact same voice? Ah, I have it too! <laughs> That's right. Hero Horrific. Of the first Punic Me when War. I do country ball Greatest videos. General alive. I got a narrate. <laughs> poster above my bed. Nice. Hamilcar Barca had an idea. That guy's buff. All right. Face we reveal. Money? Well, I've got one word for you. Spain. Mm. An area filled with So they're going to go expand into the Iberian Peninsula the here. Would flow like Wasn't sure if they had already grabbed that territory or not. I mean, I saw that map earlier. And at this point, I mean, be before the Second Punic War. Like Tony's mother at a buffet. Hey, so here's this is ultimately going to lead to Rome jumping off into that part Spain. of the world as well. I'll expand our territory, get those because mines Carthage up and running, is going there first. And we'll be able to pay the Romans back in no time. Okay, but just to check, you're not secretly raising the money to go on a bloodthirsty revenge spree against Rome, are you? <laughs> because we can't afford that. No, no. I'm simply going. I'm not going to go pay them. <laughs> Back. <laughs> True. True. That's a great way well, to put that wasn't it. Reassuring. Few in Carthage were as bitter about their. I'm forgetting that um, more than likely the Carthaginians were not speaking English at this time. Very easy mistake to make. Okay, they were speaking Punic or like a Phoenician language. Lost in the first Punic War, as Hamilcar Barca, 98% of his brain matter had been reallocated to thoughts of revenge. Oh yeah, he absolutely. He was also fed up with the Carthaginian politicians. He literally for what he deemed a cowardly betrayal when they surrendered at the end of the last war. Can and you so can you blame Hamilcar, him too? Can you blame going him? Going to Spain meant being able to act independently from the weak Carthaginian. Where was he going to get all those elephants? That's his the first thing I'm thinking. And then perhaps because that's what this is all leading to. He's he's going to get these elephants and he's going to scare the crap out of the Romans. Somewhere down the line. Revenge. However, he wasn't going to Spain by himself. War elephants. Hannibal? Yes, father. Would you like to I'm come reminded with of the civilization unit in Spain? Oh boy. I think it's Sif 5. Barbara, mind if I take our 9-year-old son with me? I want to implant an intense hatred of Rome in him and prepare him for a glorious campaign of vengeance. <laughs> Just try not to traumatize this, him, dear. No this promises. Seeds the are being so Hannibal would accompany his father. Watching, learning. Hmm. Boy, you see that city over there? Yes, father. We need to burn it to the that ground. Is Rome. Do you know what we do to Romans? No, father. We hate them, Hannibal. <laughs> we hate them with every fiber of our being. 
But why fall? What an epic anime Can't I moment. Just play with my Digimons? No, son. They took everything from us. Oh our man, the land, music. Our wealth, our pride. Those animals. I'll tear them limb from limb. Let's go. I'll Already at the age of eight. City to the ground. Holy crap. Dad? <laughs> I'm sorry, son. I'm, it's so I've beautiful. I've never been so proud. Keep going. <laughs> Man, this is making me jealous. I want to have a son just to like channel all my inner rage into him and give it to him so he can like take it out one day on the, the whatever I'm not liking, vegetables or something. <laughs> I'll cut off their faces and wear them as masks. <laughs> <laughs> After taking Hannibal to the Temple of Baal and having him what? swear an oath Sus? never to be a friend of Rome, off dad and son I forgot this is just a regular song. Holiday in Spain. But Spain not just a was already Mr. Incredible and Candy moment. Tribes people. And when Hamilcar suddenly showed up in their territory, they were like, Hey, who the hell are you? What are you doing here? I'm teaching my son how to become a warrior like me. Aw, well that's sweet. Yeah, well, so we're gonna kill guy, you. Let's see what you got. Nice. Nice. As Hamilcar got to work fighting the tribes of so Iberia, he brought his son and through Iberia. Carthaginian influence, Hannibal became a child of war. Nice. Even earning battle scars from a young age. Oh and wow. And he grew to become a great military. Man, what a risk though. What a risk to put your son out there possibly to die that early. I mean, I guess you do want to kind of start him off at a young age, but you you also don't want him to die. You don't want to lose your heir himself, making his father very I'd be proud. a little scared. I love you so much, son. This is Dad, giving me like God of War of the enemy. moments. God of War video game moments. Nice. You killed that guy so well, son. <laughs> the Bark has successfully so cute. consolidated Carthaginian power. Got those silver mines up and running. I'm now thinking like, what, what's the next thing for Oversimplified? We probably need to finish these videos before I start predicting that though. But do we keep going down the Roman timeline? I and mean, there's still so much to cover. He's covered a lot though. And we're Anyways, sending we'll talk about that later. cash back to a money-starved Carthage. And symbolizing nice. Carthage's, so Carthage's strength, restructuring. That beautiful new city would eventually new be Carthage. founded in Spain. New Carthage after with Hannibal's a magnificent death. palace at nice. its center. Look at this guy Carthage jerking. He's not jerking. He's uh, I, I don't know what, what dance the, the elephant was doing. Apollo is going on here. I'm dating myself. <gasps> Romans flowing silver mines, dancing elephants. <laughs> what are you up to, Hamilcar? I'm simply gathering the money to pay you back. Yeah, oh. that's it. Oh, okay then. That is such a good excuse. No wonder the Romans didn't suspect anything. Or are They're you probably rebuilding rooting. strength to go on a bloodthirsty revenge spree. Mm -hmm. Like I said, Claudius, <laughs> pay you back. I'm simply trying to pay you back. <laughs> oh man. You guys Never underestimate the <laughs> indomitable no, no. human spirit. I was. Just for revenge. I was hugging. <laughs> Hamilcar had practically carved out a kingdom for himself in Spain, free from the meddling Carthaginian mm. politicians. His Which power was already pretty was becoming messy, immense. corrupt, oh, but dad, possibly. Yes, my son? I'm confused. Are we really simply paying the Romans back? Come on, not son. Gonna go on a Freaking idiot. Revenge spree? <laughs> of course we are. I'm just saying that to get the Romans off our backs. Listen, here's so the smart. most important life lesson I have for you. Vengeance is everything. An all-encompassing thirst for vengeance is great for your mental health. Are you still confused? <laughs> no, no, I get it now. But what if the Romans find out what we're up to? They won't find out. Uh, Why? Well, Hannibal, because I use Nord <laughs> That's very important. The Romans cannot hack into your system and see your browsing data if you're using Nord. Carthaginian recovery had been staggeringly quick, and Rome was seriously <gasps> alarmed. But they were also preoccupied with ongoing wars elsewhere. Ah, so they're moving more north, war to the north and moving to the where Greeks. They were thousands of northern Celts. Well, so yeah. For now, to get do, get do. Check. The Romans insisted on a new treaty. See this mm. river. The two sides agreed that everything above it was in Rome's sphere of influence. Really? While beneath it, that's was Carthage. interesting. Under no circum Even though Rome was still far from the Gallic territory, the Gauls, things like that, it's and modern day France. The Carthaginians to expand north of that river. Very but illegal. For now, Hamilcar and son were living it up. Well, nice. son, partying. to many more years of successful campaigning in Spain. Now, if you'll excuse me, I just have to go fight those guys. See you later, son. I love you. <laughs> oh, what a twist. What the? Oh, crap. Okay, he's having I a drowned? Star Wars moment. Oh, well. Always remember, son. Obi-Wan Kenobi. You or the chosen are one. vengeance. He's Batman, basically.
Also, delete my browsing history. <laughs> Hamilcar Barca was tragically ambushed at a river and drowned. Dang. Got his son-in-law, and possibly also his made lover, his... no what? further questions, Whoa. took charge for a while, but he too was later assassinated. Oh, so this is only making Hannibal at more and more angry. Year old Hannibal, oh, perfect age. Of the Carthaginian armies in Spain. Perfect age to Sources invade the Romans. Sources say the men readily accepted him as their leader. He chose I mean, he'd been around for a while. As his men. I would he assume. In the same conditions, was often the first into battle and the last one out. And nice. it also helped that he looked a lot like his dad. Ah. He had the total respect of his men. If he said jump, they said how high. If he said nice. tuck me in, they said how tight. If he said talk to a girl without peeing your pants, they said that's impossible. Nobody can do that. An army that would follow him anywhere would be crucial for exacting his vengeance. Well, yeah, because he's going to have to go through the Alps. Hannibal's army had become nice. a strong and loyal fighting Get force. Get swole, brother. The Hulk Hogan in the background. a certain nation very uncomfortable. Seeing Carthage re-strengthened so quickly was not something Rome had expected. Yeah, and I'm sure because of what he just mentioned, the distractions they had with the north and in kind of like, I guess that looks like pretty much Albania, uh, they probably weren't uh, super excited about immediately fighting a battle against Carthage again, even Here if they, they won the were, first time. Paying off their debts and expanding their territory. So it's like it didn't feel they were very doing much everything. Like Carthage was under Rome's thumb at all, and Rome wanted to put an end to it. Mm. Tensions were strung tighter than your liar's G-string, and mm. all it would take was That's one incident hot. to trigger all-out war. And in 219 BC, a city in Spain would find itself at the very center of that fateful incident. Mm, this is finally... Segundo. We're figuring out what Remember that's... Remember that treaty declaring everything south of this river to be Carthage's sphere of influence? How close is that to modern-day well, uh, Valencia, the city in Spain? Obviously be is it the same? Right? Wrong! Seguntum had actually scored itself an informal alliance with Rome Ooh. after Rome had helped it with an internal dispute. I want to know what's going on in Ibiza right now. Carthaginian-owned Ibiza. Is it still partying? With Carthaginian still a bunch encroachment, of... Seguntum I don't want to know. to fear for its independence. Maybe. And Rome declared itself Seguntum's protector. But Ooh. this clearly went against the Ebro River I mean, Treaty. So what on earth? It seems like it's a little complicated. I mean, does it... Doing. Did Were the treaty the say you can't? And the Romans truly I guess it does BFFs? go against the treaty. <laughs> it's possible. Or was Rome deliberately trying to interfere with Hannibal's Spanish, Spanish expansion. expansion and maintain a staging post? I wonder if it was still called Spanish expansion at that point. For a future Isn't it war Iberian with expansion? More likely. I don't know. And Hannibal certainly viewed this Rome Saguntum alliance as an outrage. Yet another example of Roman arrogance. At first, yeah, allied with Sigmund. Okay, alone. it's only going to make but his rage having learned from his continue father on. To hate all things Roman and yeah. having inherited his father's He's dream gonna do that. of bringing Rome to its knees. Nice. More and more, Hannibal may have begun to see Saguntum as an opportunity. <laughs> Could this controversial alliance be just what devilish little Hannibal needed to kickstart a Ooh, second war with Grinch Rome moment. and restore Carthaginian dominance? It's even possible that Rome... I'm wondering what their naval situation is like right now. I mean, they are probably using a lot of their actual army for the invasion of the Iberian Peninsula, but naval... The whole naval thing is why Carthage kind of struggled. So using I'm Seguntum to go sure to we'll get into, into a fight. So they could Do you have enough boats? And as the two giants began gearing up for I'm round sure we're going to talk about that. The poor people of Seguntum had no idea... Oh my goodness. They I can't were imagine. ...were about to be crushed in the collision. Hey, your alliance with Seguntum is an insult, and we won't stand for oh it. Oh my god, these people are going to get massacred, Hannibal. aren't they? And if you lay a finger on them, it'll be an act of war. <laughs> the cute little yeah, smile. Hannibal, back the hell off. <laughs> war, eh? I was thinking I might just besiege their city and massacre their people. Uh, I hope you do, Hannibal. Find out what happens. Yeah, we hope you do, Hannibal. Wait, what? Maybe I will. <laughs> Go ahead. Go kill ahead, kill all. every uh, single okay, person inside fine, this city. Fine. Okay. Torture yes, them, I'll even. Do I don't care. Console? We look forward to it. Console? You're gonna protect us, though, right, Console? <laughs> He's just going back console. home. <laughs> well. Down, no! To top it yeah. all off. Can you blame them, too? Like, I mean, you're being surrounded by this Carthaginian power. Of course, you're gonna go to their rivals in the Italian peninsula. Hey, buddies, can you back us up here? Like, I don't really blame their diplomatic move, but people it does seem like this was inevitable. Look how similar this flag is to territory. Spain. Enough was enough. In an action that was guaranteed to provoke the Romans yeah. into war, Hannibal besieged the city 
Nice. The siege of 219 BC lasted eight cruel months before Hannibal broke through the city defenses and turned Saguntum into a killing Oof. field. It yeah, was a they massacre. literally massacred. What the hell? I mean, you're talking about this time in history war. It's still like that. It was just happening like normal. Yeah, oh, well, another just city just gets massacred. Our friends, the Sugantes. Well, Consul, did they even say if that you right? Like the Sugantes so much. Oh God. Perhaps you <laughs> can suck on these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I saw immediately where that was going. On Saguntum, Rome was understandably in an uproar, and all eyes were now fixated. I love that Oversimplified truly knows that he's being played in every classroom across America, maybe even the world, the Western world at least, because he's speaking English. But he'll still make jokes like that, and there are going to be elementary school students that laugh, and the teacher's going to be like, okay, settle down, settle This teacher just has to let it go. On what would happen next? <laughs> As Rome Based. sent a delegation cool that? <laughs> to Carthage, led by one of the most highly esteemed Roman senators, Fabius Maximus, he demanded an answer for Hannibal's sins. All right, listen up, hats. scum. You've got a rogue general in Spain attacking a Roman ally. What are we supposed hmm. to do about it? Well, there shouldn't have even been a Roman ally in Spain. You're the aggressor here. Hand mm -hmm. Hannibal over to us as a criminal so we can punch- It's funny because I feel like I do kind of see both sides. It is a complicated situation. Of course, this was the thing that led to war. You can see, I could see people still arguing about that in comment sections 2,000 years ago. Severely. It's no, complicated. Yes, no, yes. no. Look. I hold in the in, in the Romans' eyes, they were just allying to somebody. War. Was that Which against the treaty? should I let drop? They're just Whichever a protectorate. One you want, then I choose. Yeah! Oh wow! Very nice. Again. The second what? war had Me begun. Here we go. What do you mean the second? Pack it up, boys. Let's We've go. Got him. We already destroyed these clowns once. I'm and sure we that I'm absolutely sure the Romans were thinking this. Again, references. I'm thinking of World War II. The Allies beat Germany. Maybe this is going to be kind of a phony war situation in the very beginning. The Romans the are like, hey, we got this. Now, we're not even going to try that hard. Dogs? Hot dogs. Especially because at this, this time, the Romans were getting, what, victory after victory in the north and in the Balkan territory. Exactly. This is going to be E Z. Here's the plan. Consul Longus, PZ. you take your army and Look sail at his straight for Carthage. Is he mewing? Burn that city bye bye. to the ground. And Consul Scipio, you just head on over to Iberia and make sure this Hannibal guy doesn't do anything crazy. I mean, what's he gonna do? Cross the Alps? <laughs> <laughs> We're going. I mean, again, at this time, think about how crazy that idea actually would be. I mean, just look at the Alps. Even to this day, this looks terrifying. To what? Cross the Alps. There we We're go. We're going to what? I just told you. Hannibal will freeze to death. Yeah. Trust me, Jerome. The Romans are expecting us to fight the same way we did last time. You gotta passively. You gotta make it mix no it up a little bit. They think. It's going to be E, Z. <laughs> so this time, we have to be aggressive. We have to go on the attack. True. They did seem like they this, were constantly on the defense time, in the first pink war. We have to be a little more Roman. <gasps> a little more you mean we're going to take poops and baths together? But I'm Ooh. insecure about my hairy legs. No. I'm I saying this too. time, we're going to take I the am. fight to them. Think about it. Rome thinks they're the simply North, going too. to invade us and win the war. So when they suddenly find themselves being invaded that from is the gonna North, be crazy. they'll freak out. They also have to pass through southern France. Even more treacherous than the Alps. It's like France. Tony's mother, when the buffet runs out of shrimp. Hey! Oh. I gotta admit, Got it's him. actually kind of genius. And my hairy legs will insulate me from the cold. That's the spirit. Uh, how do you convince your men to do something so insane like this? Like that that's impressive negotiation tactics. Animal, this man can argue you have and my debate. Sword. And I guess they were willing to pretty much. My legs. I was already thinking of Lord of the Rings reference Ugh. when looking at the Alps. Hannibal's plan, a daring Alpine trek to surprise the Romans, was a bold. This is an interesting perspective strategy. from the POV of Spain. Off, he could catch the Romans with their pants, pants down, down, but he could also end up losing a ton of men and supplies in and, the and he could die. Yes. Conditions. Nevertheless, in two it's got to be a rock he could take that's going to be less, in his eyes and some less scary in his belly. Mm. Hannibal brought his force of almost a hundred thousand men get the across elephants? the Ebro River. They spent months. Hundred thousand the men. There's a second mountain range he's going to have to go through between modern-day Spain and France. Hold hostile mountain conditions, and when they finally reached the other side, they said, "Hooray! We did it! We crossed the Alps." No, those were the Pyrenees. Yeah, there you go. Pyrenees. Those are the Alps. Way, way worse. Pretty much 
Mount Doom. I'm trying to think, how do you resupply? Like, what were what were they eating? Were they hunting and gathering at this point? How do you, you know, resource warfare? <laughs> the Pyrenees. The army then had to pass through ancient times. So a vast territory filled with tribes, people. Hey, dude, I was actually right. I was kind of making a joke about France, but uh, I guess there you go. They were kind of hostile. The Hannibal's presence. His journey to the Alps was an ordeal. Oh, did he in gather itself, people? As he was forced to fight his way through oh, wow. and incurred pretty hefty losses before Oof. even reaching the mountains. His plan I guess was they didn't want to. At this time, the Gauls probably didn't really care much about the, the Romans or anything like that. You'd think they would gather up friends and get the army even bigger. Lichtenstein effect as when they the sent 20, 80 men out on his came way back to with 81. Iberia discovered Hannibal oh. was right on his doorstep. Oh, that must Suddenly, have been a nice surprise. Hannibal's journey became a race as he rushed to get his massive army across the vast Rhone River before the Romans could intercept him. Ooh. The crossing was chaotic with the panicking elephants causing several men to drown. Ooh. And the first combat of the war occurred when small scouting parties from each side encountered one another. Nice. When Scipio finally caught up to Hannibal's position, what he found was an empty Carthaginian camp. Mm. Hannibal had slipped through his fingers. Just barely. The Roman consul Scipio felt the weight of the situation. Why couldn't he chase back? Well, now Quite he's going to go back, right? Hannibal was going to cross the Alps into Italy, and the Romans had no idea. This is so crazy. I know that this is... It's ridiculous, but my first thought is, is like, you know, obviously this is a time where you can't just like call the homies back in the Italian Peninsula. Hey, yo, this fool's going through the Alps. You should, you know, gather up some forces. Where he would emerge. Can't do that. For the first time, a Carthaginian force had the Roman homeland under threat. So he's probably going to have to go Scipio back. Sent his men onto Iberia. I guess he could. Planned, ah, he, himself he wasn't going to. Reason ah, there you go. So he's going to have to get jump on a boat and try to tell everyone, warn everyone, yo, army. So that if Hannibal survived the crossing, Scipio would be Which is be a big there, asterisk. Waiting. Ooh, wow. Would you? So he look wasn't. At that, boys. They weren't completely We're caught here. with their pants down. The Alps. Although it is a little later than I expected. Oh boy. Yeah, it's kind of chilly. Oh boy. We'll set up camp here and wait for spring, right? No. It's way too cold. Right? Nope, gotta do it. Hannibal? <laughs> that would not be Hannibal's fun. How many men? We're gonna see how many he lost. Was brutal. It was already 50% autumn, of his and the men initial army? Terribly. It was cold. Men would fall off the sides of icy cliffs. Jeez. They starved? They fell off the sides of icy cliffs. <laughs> Some sources say they had to eat their pack animals and oh. would finish off dying comrades in order to take their clothes for extra warmth. And, and eat them? They would fall off the sides of icy cliffs. Okay. Imagine an army of 50,000 men with all of their horses, supplies, and 30... I'm, like, remembered of the times I've, like, randomly followed creeks uh, up and down mountains, you know, just as, like, a kid camping. But now imagine 50,000 men with all your supplies jumping around, like, water. It's in the it's in the winter. So many things can go wrong. Seven Wait, he's, he went, he set out with 100,000 men. He gets to the Alps with 50, so he, he's already lost 50% of his starting forces. Try Trying to navigate the most hostile I don't know if that's, if that's in Europe. That's what it and looks like. It wasn't like. just nature that they were up against. Tribes people lived in the mountains. Oh, jeez. And they the couldn't believe what they Swiss. were seeing. A tribe approached Hannibal and said, "Hey, man. Jeez, that's some nice armor. What is that? Gold? Man, I'd really like that armor. Hey, boss. They've got food as well. Shut uh -oh. up. Be cool. Hey, these why guys don't are you so let us guide sketchy. You this narrow gorge. We're not gonna kill you or nothing. Just walk right on through there." We're not gonna kill you. It's just right this way. <laughs> hmm. We're not gonna kill you. Hannibal's Sus. army were forced to fight their way through the gorge Jeez. as massive boulders rained down on them. It's so funny because we we always focus on like you know the event of him making it through the Alps. We I I'd never really cover all of the chaos before he even got there. Like this part is arguably even crazier. From above. Some clever reorganization of his line helped them survive. Yeah, the infantry. And they were able to fend off the opportunistic tribes. Jeez. But losses from the constant. I imagine like these people, like um, the scary people from like Hills Have Eyes, like they're just like a little bit weird. I don't know. The attacks were heavy. As the journey continued, men who went over the sides would get stuck on the ice sheets below. Jeez. And had to make a grisly choice between starving to death or just getting it over with. When the deeply demoralized that army one. reached the summit and rested for a couple days, Hannibal tried to lift their spirits with a rousing speech. Oh man, that'd Look, be so man, difficult. What do you even say at this there, point? It's Rome. I mean, this man is fueled by vengeance, so like he doesn't care. But all the other men, probably not. Planes they just want to go back to their families. Of you are bountiful with food to eat and Romans to kill. Move, nice. Bessie. 
Eat that, eat that. The hard part is over. From here on out, it's downhill. downhill. Literally. And nobody else will die. Except for them. <laughs> the rest of us here, <laughs> no one dies. He's gonna step on the poop. Starting now. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Oh, for goodness sake! <laughs> as it turned out, the descent was as deadly as the way up. Oh, that's with the cold really starting to set in, the path became even more narrow. And at one point, the men. I mean, I'm not even a Carthaginian stand here. I guess I don't have a dog in the race, to be honest. But uh, it's hard not to root for this insane plan, right? And that's what I love about the freezing way they're positioning this video. The collapsed road. When they finally reached even the if bottom, you're the hardest Roma boo out there, like you, you got to give it to them here. Said, "Look, guys." We did it! Well, I thought it went really well. When Hannibal left Spain, he had about a hundred thousand men. By the time he reached the Italian oh, so plains, his we were right about that. had dwindled to about oh, twenty-six thousand. He it's was a now caught in enemy territory without a supply this line looks like or source of funny because it's seen as a success, but is this really a success? Seventy-five percent casualties? Reinforcements. And any elephant I guess he didn't die. survived to this point? We're almost certainly traumatized. That so I can't what on earth imagine. was Hannibal up to? This supposed How is it going to make this work? Had just led a starving and weakened army right into enemy territory. Any modern general who lost half their men to mountains would be immediately yeah. fired and possibly <laughs> even depensed on live TV. Nice. Here's the thing. While Sometimes Hannibal they may might not like have that. planned on losing quite so many men, he had almost certainly expected considerable losses. He did and it. he always had a plan True. for how to replace them. He probably them. did. Need men? Northern Italy was full of men. Mm. Big, burly Celtic men. Uh, All the men Hannibal would ever need to beat off Rome. Nice. These Celts I like the word choices there. Oh, that is by Rome. very smart. Hannibal Didn't consider that. Seen as a I thought he was going to get him from the Gauls, but they weren't fighting in the southern Gaul area yet. Raider. Convince the Celts to cut ties with Rome. In the Gaul and or Gauls? Is it plural? That word? In crushing Rome. That way, he could gain a source of reinforcements and supplies right in Rome's backyard. But, sir, in order to win the loyalty of the Celts, we would need to make a seriously favorable impression on them. How do we get them to like us? Hmm. hmm. Good question. Kill them. One of Hannibal's <laughs> first actions in Italy was to obliterate a nearby tribe who wouldn't join him. Oh, nice. So they then, sent a clear uh, message to all the other tribes. I'm it glad they had rocket launchers back then. They should fear, not Rome's. The realization That's so interesting that a Carthaginian to use that. army had just invaded them mm. must have been shocking for yeah. the Romans. Yeah. But when they looked at this ragtag group broken <laughs> by the Alps, <laughs> they probably weren't they too scared. They felt very intimidated. Until However, they Hannibal gathered the goal of uh, Italy Celts. and he was about to embark on one of the most astonishing military campaigns in all of human history. That's funny. So this the first Romans video really it yet, sets it up as but there was now a monster kind of a loose in their territory. Barely a successful mission. Overall kind of feels like a failure, but just wait till part two. And he was vying for Roman blood. Jeez. My mom! No! <laughs> Hannibal's army had survived its famous crossing of the Alps, <laughs> and he was now in Italy. I'm gonna finish that statement. With Hannibal's say arrival, the Roman consul Scipio <laughs> can do anything. Hit the ground uh, running in typical Roman fashion, he marched his army straight at the enemy, and Hannibal began preparing so, for his first. Again, this could be a part of a little bit of Roman arrogance that might be coming into play here. That with Rome on Italian soil, before the battle, Hannibal wanted to inspire his men. So he staged a gladiatorial death match between nice. captured Celt prisoners, with the winner getting prizes and freedom. Oh, he nice. then explained that the whole thing was a metaphor. A metaphor? For what? You! These warriors are you! Hmm. You're trapped in Italy with no escape. Your only choice now is to fight and win. What about the dead guy? That's well. you if you don't win. And the prizes? That's what you stand to gain by winning. Oh, nice, a computer. And the fact that I've soiled myself in all this excitement? That that's an, an no, added that's bonus. That's not part of the metaphor. Oh. Okay. Hannibal also smashed in the head of a goat. Oh, Again, cool. For inspiration. <laughs> nice! On the other hand, that was awesome. I will die area, for you now. Opted for the more classic route of a rousing pre-battle speech. Look at them, men. Weak. Starved by the Alps. Yeah. Wow, we there you are go. The strongest military Some in the arrogance world. there. This will be easy. Like 
10,000 horse-sized ducks fighting a baby-sized baby. It'll be like Mike mm. Tyson in his prime, kicking a baby. Yeah. A tug of war between 10 sumo wrestlers and a... Baby. Help me out here, Ralph. A baby, sir? Yes. Yes, that's <laughs> it. A baby. The point is, there is absolutely no possible way we could lose a battle this easy. So, if everybody's ready, on my mark... <gasps> go! Nice. So, I think we can already tell how this one is going to go. Wow. Wow. Nice. The battle of Tekinus was over almost as soon as it had begun. Immediately. As the Romans it... found themselves completely outmatched by Hannibal's famed lightning fast mm. Numidian cavalry. Numidian. A key element in Hannibal's devastating That's deep double in Africa. envelopment tactics. At this point. In the chaos, Scipio was wounded. Thankfully, according to some ancient writers, his handsome 17-year-old son, nice. Scipio the Younger, Chad. saw his father fall. Oh, Scipio and he the became bald. supposedly saved his father, and in the process, earned himself a lot of daddy's kisses. The Romans nice. ended up fleeing the area, destroying the bridge behind them as they went. Wow. For a nation so overtly confident in victory, I love the Hannibal I love these little to be an easy kill. Wolf the Romans found hats. themselves running away those. with their tail between their legs. Hmm. It was humiliating. And do you know who oh, man, I want over some fight to cover so many aspects of Rome now. I'm thinking of like were the Romans in, in uh modern day British Isles against the, the Celts up there. Crazy like green people fighting naked. So it's well. basically what they were. The basically. Celts oh, they began here you go. flocking to Hannibal's This is very side, different time period though than what I was hoped. just referencing. Even Celtic troops fighting for Rome in the Roman camp began to reconsider. Man, I'm thinking we should try to join Hannibal. I hear you. Maybe we should bring him a gift. What do you think you'd like? Some heads of hmm. Roman soldiers? There you go. Oh, I know. Hey, Hannibal. We want to join your side. Oh, there you we go. Wow, we, we think alike. A gift? I guess I do have some For Celtic me? blood in me after all. I hope it's Roman heads. Oh, oh, please. oh please it sounded like Roman coins. Heads. Oh, it is. <gasps> Let's go! How did you know? <laughs> Running away from Hannibal was humiliating enough, but having dozens of Romans beheaded in the night now that's embarrassing. That's Tikinus had been a relatively small battle, but the psychological impact it had early on was huge. And it was only just a taste of what Hannibal was capable of. Despite the shocking He's gonna move through this entire however, peninsula, Rome isn't he? Still didn't seem He's to gonna fully go. understand the danger posed by the monster now loose in their territory. The Senate was full of excuses. Like, I mean, he was. It's those they were probably so focused on. I mean, maybe they don't know back in Rome, but how much they lost through their journey through the Alps. They they couldn't have taken them even seriously at this point. Maybe maybe they were taking them slightly more seriously, but overall, maybe still down. Traitorous Celts. That's why we lost. Yeah, and it was a cavalry. Okay, battle. there you go. Wait I mean, until kind of. Hannibal faces our almighty legions, and our consul was bold. Once he faces our other fully follicled consul, <laughs> then he'll Longus. really pee his pants. That other consul, True. Longus, Epic. had been in the south all this time, preparing in to invade Africa. He had seen some success. They still haven't invaded even Africa yet. Malta. Oh, there you go. There's but Malta. Then he heard the news. Hannibal, Hannibal one, in Rome Italy, zero. And I'm being ordered home. But but I was gonna be the big boy. I was gonna invade Carthage it's and too win late. the war. It's over well, now. You can be a big boy at home. No. Does somebody How need sad. a nap, sir? No. <laughs> no! No! You gotta do a classic and so tantrum. Longus brought his army on the long journey north. The teddy when bears he arrived picnic. in the area to decisively neutralize Hannibal. The two consuls he got joined their fast. forces together, creating a double consular army. But the two consuls weren't exactly on the same page. Having a nice rest there, old man. I'm wounded, Longus. Mm. Pathetic. You don't understand. He's more dangerous than we thought. Maybe for you. Whoops. Listen, we can't just march straight at him like we normally do. We need to train our men through the winter, and we'll try again in spring. Sorry. Oh, it's, is it still winter? A bowl. Hey, hey, I'll kick your ass, Longus. Any day now. I'm coming. Just you wait. Oh, Scipio, you feeble old Ooh. man. Romantic. Scipio was apparently quite cautious after his recent encounter with Hannibal. Well, he's going to be a bit more scared for typically sure. Typically Roman couldn't wait to give Hannibal a swirly. So who would get their way? Well, when two consuls joined their forces, it turned out the Romans had an interesting system in place. They would each take turns being the one in charge. Consul one would lead one day, then consul two 
The hmm. next. That seems like a terrible forth, idea. Forth. As you can imagine, when the two consoles didn't agree, yeah. things didn't go so well. Because one day they're going to be doing something, then the next day all those plans were going to be scrapped by the next guy. In this case, due to Scipio's injury, Longus probably assumed even more command than normal. <laughs> Hannibal had Celtic Monopoly. spies in the Roman camp. He fully understood the Roman system and Longus's hot-headed nature. How many frames and a second? He knew he could exploit it. For goodness sake! What's wrong, sir? I'm trying to order some pizza, but I keep getting fed all these personalized mm. ads about being a, some pizza. a double consular okay. army and a hothead. Hannibal needed to keep smashing the Romans in battle in order to maintain the loyalty of the Celts. And so mm. he was eager to continue to, to gather more and more forces. Battle. The, combined the fact that Hannibal predicted this was amazing. Him. Like he knew he was so going to be able to gather people on his side. He a clever trap and he made sure to spring it while Longus was still in charge. The plan began with his army getting while they're an playing the switch. Sleep. All right, boys. And over some fly plushies. Sorry, but we got a big day ahead of us. Tomorrow, we're going to massacre the Romans. Yeah! <laughs> Good night, boys. Dream of revenge. That's I couldn't go to sleep after Gorzog. that. I'd be too exciting. Send out the cavalry. What? Oh no, not Gorzog. That night, Hannibal's Numidian cavalry made their way over to the Roman camp, arriving just before dawn. Lighting it on fire. Hey, Romans. Wakey, wakey. What? What the? What's going on? Hey, Longus. Your butt smells like a butt. It does not. Scipio, awaken the troops. Longus, Is that? It should be a compliment. These playground insults are clearly meant to lure you out. Well, it's working. Send out the troops. Longus, it's clearly a trap. And I'm falling for it. Send out the troops. Hey, guys, yeah. wake up. You're heading out for battle. What? But we haven't had breakfast. We're ah, skipping not surprised. breakfast. I don't think you can do that. As the Romans hurried out what a, camp, yeah, you, the Numidians you could skip began luring second them breakfast. back to the Carthaginian breakfast, but not first. Camp, where these gentle angels were just awakening Ugh. from their slumber. Oh, nice. Eat up, boys. Pancakes. We're having pancakes. <laughs> While the Carthaginians were enjoying their hearty breakfast, the starving Romans were still on their way. Hurry no. up! We have to catch those Numidians. Hey, why have you stopped marching? Longus, there's a freezing river in front of us. Well, get your Doesn't gluteus matter. maximus in the water! <laughs> Th these are All some right, of the boys. scariest... Time to lather up. What? This oil will insulate you from the cold. It also smells like lavender. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> There's the Carthaginian camp. Get ready to On fight. On empty man. stomachs, sir, and freezing. I think the water from the river is beginning to ice over. I can't move. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You thought war would be fun, sitting around a nice hot campfire playing truth or dare with your friends? Welcome to the real world. It can truth. be fun. Who do you like, Sharon? <laughs> hey, look, guys. The spirits were the high. Romans are here. How do they? Uh, they can't lose. They can't lose. Having perfectly orchestrated events so that his enemy was cold, tired, and hungry, while his men were well rested and covered in oil, when mm. the two sides engaged one another, the Romans were in no condition to fight. And Genius. the cherry on top? The previous night, Hannibal had sent out an elite force of men led by his brother oh, to go and hide oh, behind nice. a bush. They I was gonna look that up if Hannibal had a brother. Encircling the exhausted Romans, who were then there you go. cut to pieces. Oof. Once again, Hannibal's superior cavalry and double envelopment tactics. This really does come down to those Nubib Nubibian cavalry that saved them twice now. The Romans, but the but key word at Trebia good strategic, was good tactics control. as well. Hannibal used his intel on the enemy and the environment of the battlefield to carefully control the conditions of battle, creating lots of little advantages for himself yeah. that paved the way to success. That's impressive. And concealing troops for an ambush. All of these things are what make Hannibal the genius he's remembered as today. Jeez. As for Longus, he managed to escape the battlefield. It's like a little mini uh, Alexander. Disgraced. He didn't want this Senate he, to maybe find just need out more what time. happened, and he began obscuring communications. This is after Alexander, back to Hannibal Rome. probably looked up to Alexander. Longus, maybe. Where have you been? We've been looking for you. Uh, nowhere in particular. Longus, thirty thousand men are missing. Do you know where they are? Uh, they're taking a bath. Thirty thousand men, all in a bath. Yes. Longus, what's under that rug? Oh, jeez. Aurora borealis. Aurora borealis. That's a nice reference. Uh, Oh, well, that's my consulship over. Good luck with Hannibal. Ooh. Bye. 
he's off to had been a Hawaii or something with a Hawaiian t-shirt. And as even more Celts began flocking to Hannibal, Rome largely lost its control over Cisalpine Gaul. In Rome, complacency turned to alarm. Hannibal had outwitted them on their own soil and inflicted a costly defeat. But with that, the other Scipio consuls not going to be happy about this. Consul were over. They were replaced with two new consuls. Ooh, this Servilius guy looks pretty emo. Flaminius. The Romans may now Those, have begun to that realize guy -liner. the trouble they were in, and the genius I don't know if that's Hannibal what it is, but it looks like it. In invading Italy, the Romans had expected to be the ones controlling this war. Remember, they thought they were going to invade Carthage. Now their plans lay in ruins, and they were levying like 11 football new legions set to deal with the threat. American football, Hannibal sorry. had completely redefined the war. But Hannibal had a little problem of it. You would think Hollywood would make movies about this. I'm sure there has been, of course, but it seems like such perfect material. Own. Things had gone well so far, but the Celts were notoriously fickle, and Hannibal needed to ensure he maintained their alliance and his base of support in Italy. Any Celts he captured fighting for Rome, he treated extremely well and allowed them to return to their homes. But the longer he hung around in their territory, eating all their food and leaving beard trimmings in their sinks, the more resentful they may become. They wanted to go south and plunder some Roman booty. And Hannibal also hoped to sway can't wait for that other part. Italian allies in the south to his side. Ooh. So from here, the path was He was going to just break them Hannibal up from the inside, south. basically. Just one problem. There were two main routes Hannibal could take to move south. That's what's going to say the Italian peninsula was really like that's exactly where the hills the down the whole peninsula, had taken the mountain territory. If Hannibal tried Obviously to not like the Alps. Up, he'd be fighting from a disadvantaged position and could be bottled in. There is a third option. Ooh, tell me, tell me. We could move through this vast impassable marshland flooded with dirty, stinky, disease-infested <laughs> water that at times would come up to our necks. That seems but like a great no idea. we would attempt that, right? That'd be crazy. You're right. talking to Hannibal at this point. I mean, everything is possible. Hannibal? Hannibal's four-day trek across the Arno marshlands was hell on earth. Almost as crazy as when he crossed the Alps. Imagine three full days unable to sit or lie down because there's nowhere to sit or lie down. Meaning four full days I can't, without sleep. I cannot imagine. Through heavy mud. You of course, Hannibal's cholera, good at that. Your foot falls off and Jim Bob directly feels like in front of you. Moving through Florida. In your path. In fact, everybody's pooping in your path. Some delirious, sleepless men would see clumps of mud and say, Man, I oh, could just geez. sink into that. And, and they would just they drown? Would. When pack animals jeez. died, it gave nearby men a chance to rest. This is like the Titanic. For a few moments, Leonardo DiCaprio would be like, into line. Even Hannibal himself couldn't escape the torture of it. Hey, Hannibal, if he, we he see put himself Starbucks, through. Can we stop? <laughs> I need to take a leap. Oh, jeez. Is he going to lose his eye? Oh, does he use an eye patch? Jeez, Hannibal. Looks like you picked up a nasty eye infection. Normally for this sort of thing, we just wash it out with some clean water. But as Wait, there you is see, that. water everywhere, but it's full of Jim Bob's poop. No worries, Doc. I'll just take care of it myself. Uh oh Jeez. That'll be three thousand dollars. When the now American healthcare be like and his army emerged from the swamp, they were shattered. But he had just managed to slip 50,000 men right past the Romans into rich Etrurian lands where he could replenish his supplies and his Celt allies nice. could go crazy. Kirby effects just sucking up Roman everything you're about. <laughs> As fields and villages went up in flames, one Roman consul couldn't help but notice the hot headed Flaminius, feeling it was his responsibility to protect <gasps> these lands rather than waiting for his So the emo guy is the crazier one. Immediately left to go chase Hannibal. Now, this Flaminius was an interesting character. He was what the Romans called a new man. He came from the <laughs> lower plebeian classes of Roman society. Uh, and as a result, he reportedly had kind of a screw you attitude. A little, little to rougher. The I was going to say a little rougher on the edges. An arrogant chip on his shoulder. Picture Sid Vicious wearing yeah. a toga. I guess that's, that's why they designed him. I if I designed this character Hannibal, like that. Thanks to his spies, knew everything. Just as with Longus, Hannibal knew Flaminius Ooh. was just the kind of man he could lure into, into a trap. It. Yep. Hannibal led Flaminius to the entrance of a narrow pass along the north shore of Lake Trasimene. Flaminius watched as Hannibal's army entered the pass. I've done it. I've spotted the enemy. Uh, sir? That big follow us sign seems kind of like they're trying to lure you in. <laughs> this seems like a really yes, obvious Gareth, trap. And I'm taking the bait. Sir, this really seems like a trap. Doesn't yes, matter. Gareth, 
and I'm falling for it. Daylight was fading. So the fact now, that Hannibal knew this is so impressive. Camp. The two armies encamped across the I wonder how he got another. that info. How does and he get that I insider information? Over the two camps. That he would In fall for morning, something like this. Flaminius would catch Hope. up to Hannibal, and he would be the hero of Rome. For now, the Romans got nice and comfy in their beds. Good night, Flaminius. Good night, Rome. Good evening, Hannibal. During the night, Hannibal ordered total stealth. As tens of thousands of troops. They should have really kind of seen this. I mean, I guess it's in the middle of the night, but they literally just done a morning scaled the kind of attack above the pass. in more northern Italy, right? Shouldn't the Romans have been expecting completely undetected expecting by them? Rome's scouts? Oh wow. <laughs> Let's go, girls. Six a.m. Flaminius took off across the lake shore to try to Ooh. catch Hannibal. They're gonna As push him did, up against this even lake. The weather seemed to be on Hannibal's side. A thick fog rose from the surface wow. of the lake, obscuring visibility. Insane. Look at this. This is perfect. The mist will obscure our approach. Hannibal will never see me coming. Oof. That's got to be such a horrifying Sir, sound. Why does it sound like 50,000 Carthaginians <laughs> are charging down the hill towards us? Oh you my mean 50, goodness. 50,000 Carthaginians are charging right into my trap. Oh wow. The Romans How found horrifying. themselves completely hemmed in on all sides with zero in the shadows in the, fog, in the fade the fighting or the was terrifying mist. and chaotic. Troops were pushed into the lake in their heavy armor where they were either cut down or drowned. And Flaminius, who likely stood out like a sore thumb in his consul attire, caught the attention of one Celt warrior, Ooh. with his head possibly swirling with thoughts of how the Romans had decimated his homeland. Yep. According to the ancient writers, Did he jump off this, this rock? Celt took his chance. Oh man, like a 300 moment. Oh. Yeah, this is pretty 300 like in, in the, the lake too. In the long massacre. 15,000 Romans were killed wow. and an equal number captured. An entire they were army so not expecting this. That's crazy. Along with their consul. Well, there's no way to run. The, battle, the way they got the him up against, against that lake. managed to break through at the front and climbed the hill above the fog. When the mist cleared, they what saw they just saw dead Romans was everywhere. Was a blood-red lake and a sea of Roman bodies. Jeez. Worse yet, yeah, when what the a other disaster. consuls sent cavalry to try to aid Flaminius's doomed legions, it's not they be enough. Too were caught and defeated. Yeah, they probably and didn't send that much. Disaster. I mean, in their effect, they I mean, they probably thought it was going to be a little bit closer. It wasn't going to be so lopsided. Yeah. <laughs> Rome went into a frenzy. For the second time, Hannibal had completely decimated an entire Roman army. Romans were so, dying by the tens one of thousands. Punch. Common citizens began flocking to the city for safety. Oh, jeez. Women waited by the city gates in tears, hoping to hear news of loved ones. That's yeah, probably not going to happen. one man, having just led his battered army across the Alps the previous year, now stood less than a hundred miles from, from the Rome. capital. Jeez. To this point, he had been a problem. Now, Hannibal was a crisis. The Hannibal crisis. And in a crisis... Rome took desperate measures. People getting they desperate. They actually had a system in place when dealing with an emergency of this magnitude. They would forgo their two consul power sharing system and instead temporarily give one man near total power and authority to be as decisive as he needed and hopefully salvage the situation. This all powerful position in Rome's government had a name dictator. Oh. It's actually where we get the word. Uh oh. But unlike modern dictators, I actually didn't know this Roman was the reason why. Perfect rounds of golf or ride bears through the Siberian tundra. <laughs> they held their power for just six months before they were required. I didn't to know give this is where. And in Rome's uh, hour well, of I didn't know that they the used this. Then. Chosen to be dictator in 217 BC, one of the most highly oh, esteemed boy. members of the Roman Senate, Fabius Maximus. So how would Fabius, as dictator, confront Hannibal? Well, Fabius understood that marching all of Rome's young men straight into yeah, a one literally. meat grinder yep. was bleeding Rome dry. Hannibal was clearly too dangerous to face head on in battle. However, he was also stuck in their territory with dwindling manpower and forced to live off the land. It wasn't a sustainable position to be in long term, and he could yeah, only need remain there 
for oh, so long. Oh, Mr. Beast Burger. So, if Room avoided battle with him, why haven't they ended up in a collab? Mr. Beast and losses, oversimplified and me to do a collab. Simply maneuvered around him, blocking supplies and taking out smaller contingents where possible. Hannibal would gradually become weaker, while they would gradually become stronger. And so yeah. Fabius presented his new idea to the Roman Just to Senate. wait. Okay, guys, I have an idea. Distract him. See em. if you can follow me here, okay? Instead of fighting Hannibal, when he approaches, we run away. Ooh, hey, that works for a lot of Russian history. Run away, scorched earth policy. I don't think this is still the same thing. They're probably not talking about scorched earth, but... Fabius's strategy you run back, run back, run back. Less Roman. Romans yeah, the Romans are not going to love that. Into battle, not run away from it. Yeah, especially it after destroying the Carthaginians was in the first Punic War. Unpopular. At this point, Hannibal was continuing they probably, south. The Romans didn't understand. He had to stay on the move to keep his army fed, and he was still aiming to undermine Rome's alliances in the south. As in Naples, he went, in, the Naples in a calculated area. display of aggression, he devastated the Roman countryside and killed many Romans, all in plain sight of Fabius and his army. We're just gonna stand here? Yes. Are you a coward? No. But Fabius, that's my farm. Well, McDonald, thank you for your sacrifice. You're a hero now. Think of the stories you'll tell. Old McDonald <laughs> had a <the> farm. <laughs> this is where it came from. Shut up. But you know who else hated Fabius's strategy? Hannibal. He understood the danger he was in. So he and uh, allies against her required Hannibal to keep smashing the Romans in battle. He couldn't slowly do that one by if one Fabius by one. wouldn't fight him. Multiple mm. times Hannibal tried to go to Fabius into Just a didn't fight, work. but Fabius wouldn't bite. Failing that. And for a, a person like this who was raised off vengeance, vengeance this must have been so difficult. He, he to turn from a Rome young age, he was Fabius. taught to, According to the writer, cut Roman Lincoln, head off, he down heads off the where their faces. Could. But any farm he learned was owned by Fabius himself. He left well alone. Hey, Fabius, why isn't he burning down your farm? You got some sort of a secret deal with him? Ooh. Wait, of course not. Ooh. Hey, Hannibal, what? <laughs> Burn my farm too, please. What? <laughs> Burn my farm too, please. No. Remember our secret deal. <laughs> <sighs> well, you got to admit. He's a genius. <laughs> That's Hannibal's pretty problem, genius. however, was that he had to stay on the move to <laughs> that keep is pretty supplying genius. his army from the local lands. At one point, he entered Campania, one of the richest regions of Italy, great for resupply and great for showing up Fabius in front of Rome's South Italian allies. Ooh. But he was caught in a valley, and Fabius quickly moved to block his escapes. Ooh. <laughs> We've got him. It's After funny how often, like, historically, just in war, you can kind of just, like, roam through enemies' lands like this, just pillaging, doop, 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 doop. It's not really the supplies, same now anymore. He'll starve. Uh, sir, what are all those lights leaving the valley? Is I he mean, trying to escape? If there's a difference between, like, your territory and, like, where you actually have cities. Well, so it's very easy to move one. through enemy territory like that back in these days, obviously. Suspecting a trap, Fabius refused to budge. But other Romans in the valley rushed to confront him. Some video games Only reflect that, others don't as, as much. It's actually just a herd of oxen with torches tied to their heads. They Flippy then tunes. found themselves caught in an ambush. With the Oof. Romans distracted, Hannibal's army was able to slip away into the night. He -he. Unopposed. Classic Hannibal. For all his inaction, so good at that. the dissatisfied Romans mocked This man can just him. move. He's just such Fabius, a mobilizer. Like, he could just. But the thing is, Fabius is strategy able to move was everywhere. probably the best thing he could have done. He was right that constant encounters with his Hannibal movement. were bleeding Rome dry. And the time he took allowed Rome some breathing room to recover their forces when they desperately needed to, mm, while putting in the Hannibal capital. into an increasingly more difficult position. Because what is Modern he supposed to do, really? Like, he is looking Fabius's good, but. Strategy as generally a good idea. To this day, the <laughs> act of not engaging an enemy, but instead gradually wearing them down, is still referred to as the Fabian strategy. Hmm. But when Fabius's term finally came to an end, the Senate could have been happier. It was time to start <laughs> fighting again. However, both they both positions are in a really tough about spot. How they were gonna go about it. See, Hannibal's Can Hannibal still enough boats to just leave if he wanted? Sneaky. Or 
If you're a Roman, you might say dishonorable. It's, he's kind of going all in at it. this point. Every time we try to take this guy down, we march straight at him. But then, oh no, Hannibal's hiding in a bush. Hannibal's got 30,000 men up a tree. At this point, I'm not convinced my wife isn't just Hannibal wearing a disguise. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this time, we obviously have to switch something up. Now, granted, we're Roman, so we're going to march straight at him without thinking. That can't be helped. It's in our blood. But I have a proposition. This time, when we march straight at him, we do it with a massive army. I'm talking like 80,000 men. It won't matter what kind of shenanigans he pulls. He can hide in all the bushes he wants. There's no way he can possibly beat off 80,000 <laughs> <Choose> different men. <laughs> different <laughs> Please. You know what I mean? And so Different it choice was. of words, please. With two new consuls, Rome put together a massive army, the biggest Rome had ever fielded. Eighty thousand Hannibal away, really? For all, because Hannibal together started with a hundred thousand. So that's interesting. Two thirds of them ended up being completely inexperienced. Oof. But how much experience does it take to be a hired. war fodder? As this True. massive army, kind of just need meat shields at this point. BC, the Romans knew they needed Dang, so Hannibal's been out there for how long? At least a year and a half. Just one victory over Hannibal would likely be enough to end his entire campaign. And this time, their overwhelming manpower gave them confidence they could do it. It's funny Hannibal. how long campaigns actually last. You know, like imagine being out there constantly, like fighting wars and going through the Alps and doing all this crazy stuff. Had taken position at the town of Cannae, where he had captured an important Roman supply depot. With Fabius gone, Hannibal Fabius knew gone. the battle was likely coming. He's probably he was eager to fight more relaxed. on his terms. I they had newspapers but back then. his in. men looked out at the Roman camp, they couldn't believe what they were seeing. That army's huge. There's no way we can possibly beat off all these men. <laughs> How are we going to beat off all of these men? <laughs> you know what I mean. I think he's right, Hannibal. Hannibal is then said well, to what kind of numbers do they have? Gisco. My They're friend, still trying to get don't worry. rally there may be a lot of Celtic them, tribes, right? Or the ranks, southern part there's not of my Celts, I don't think. Named Gisco. This True. joke was apparently so funny that his officers began to laugh and laugh. And when his men in the camp heard the laughter, they were like, hey, they're laughing. I we're guess doing that good. means we're going to win the battle. <laughs> oh As for the Romans, the consuls were another pairing between an inexperienced hothead and a wise scholar. Although mm. the main historian from too. this era was good friends with Paulus's family, so take that with a grain of salt. Mm. On his day of command, the rash and hasty Varro, despite the apparent pleas from Paulus, oh boy. sent the army out for battle. And when Hannibal saw two this, consul system so same. interesting. And here comes okay, the so they're definitely outnumbered. Battle of the Second Punic War, and one of the most renowned battles in history. Wow! The infamous Battle. Of can I? Ah, uh, okay, okay. In all the pre-battle maneuvering, I think I can know. Hannibal was able know where to ensure gonna his go. army was fighting from the south. This meant the seasonal dust-carrying winds were to his back. Jeez, and blowing so many little details. Like he's just considering so much. It's incredible. Directly into the faces. There's just something about the generals like, like Napoleon, said, Alexander, control. like Hannibal. After two years in they're, Italy, they're so good Hannibal's at noticing those little details. Had dwindled to about forty thousand. The Romans possibly outnumbered him two to one. Their army was so big that their maniples stretched far deeper than but the But does it matter? Would. Because the look Romans at the way they're squeezed right there. Hannibal's thin weak line like a battering ram and break it. They also D chose because a narrow battlefield. Exactly, in the hopes exactly. That would Hannibal's far superior cavalry from but being the problem is their numbers them. won't. They wanted an honorable battle. It's, it's like 300 status. Rather than trickery would decide the outcome. If Hannibal had but his say, squeezed. however, trickery might end up having a lot to do with it. He ordered his line to position themselves as an outward bulge, with his weakest troops at the very center. Oh, nice. Just behind them, out of sight from the Romans, stood the elite Libyan infantry, waiting Libyan for infantry. to strike. The battle All the way from Libya, they're probably the pretty angry. Roman troops smashed they into they the went through a quite a journey. Center. The shape of Hannibal's line ensured the overwhelming weight of the Romans hit his weakest troops first. So they probably got more they confidence, cocky. Were pushed back. Hannibal's outward bulge reversed inward, with the Romans being funneled in towards the weak center. Hannibal had positioned himself at the center to encourage the troops to hold out as long as wow. possible against the to Roman put himself onslaught. Because while it, the Romans he knew it was the weakest point. Carnage on the center, 
Hannibal's cavalry needed time to do their job. To get the around. Heavy cavalry on the left, Look at how much more cavalry they have. Fight, yeah. Sent the Look at how much more. Packing, with the Consul Polis even sustaining a severe head injury, Oof. he managed to move what into happened? the center he got hit with a rock? to keep the battle going. Then the heavy cavalry turned oh, and approached boy. Barrow's cavalry from behind. At the first sight of the coming Carthaginian envelopment, Varro ordered his horsemen to flee the battlefield. The oh, Carthaginians geez. had won the cavalry battle. But oh, there back you go. in the center, according to some accounts, Hannibal's line did eventually end up caving to the massive weight of the Romans. Yeah, it's a lot. And they began to flee. Ooh. The Romans pushed deeper, and organization within but the army the likely broke down as they became a giant mass trying to massacre the fleeing Carthaginians. They didn't Insane. realize that they were playing right into Hannibal's hands. And then bam, get moment, flanked. Hannibal's get flanked, units, dog. Having done no fighting yet, and therefore fresh completely fresh. Danger, yep. Turned I'm thinking of total war right now. Roman sides. Many of fresh troops, troops were wearing Roman helmets and armor they had picked up after previous battles. Oh, wow. The so they thought they were Romans? Romans? May not have even realized they were the enemy. How did they As know who they I guess they knew they recognized the faces. Of his center they knew who was their friends. them back into the fight. Friends. The Carthaginian cavalry swooped oh, in from geez. behind. This is a complete massacre. What lies before you. Wow. A military general's wet dream. Wow. The total encirclement of a much larger force by a much smaller Parts force. Parts of Iron Four overrun. The Romans were trapped. How Hannibal many casualties was this going to be? unbelievably managed to use their own superiority in numbers against them. Rather than simply encircling them, he had actually Insane. allowed them to use their own immense power and push themselves wow. into wow. an encircled position. This was the genius And you can't escape that. Can I? Think about it being inside that, that, you're... The annihilation began. For hours, wow. the Carthaginians slaughtered Imagine the Imagine being Hannibal. He's probably just sitting on a mountain for hours watching as all these people just get massacred and massacred. He's just like, ha, <laughs> Romans from <laughs> all sides. <laughs> the terrified Romans oh, were geez. so tightly packed that at times, they couldn't even lift their arms to defend themselves. Oh, geez. The killing went on so long that the Carthaginians became exhausted from yeah. the non-stop massacre. And by the like, time uh, the victory came to an uh, end, the grim toll spoke for itself. To Hannibal, several thousand lost. The Romans suffered 60 to 80,000 dead or captured. Yet another third entire just army massive. wiped out by Hannibal. Holy crap. Many high-ranking Romans met their end at Cannae. Holy Polis, crap. For one, but also 80 I senators that head and injury. More. It's been estimated that 20% of oh Rome's male goodness, population the Romans, aged 18 to 50 could take a whole generation or two to replenish Canna. that this manpower. Was it. Hannibal's vengeance. Wow. The stunned Carthaginians, as they searched for their own survivors among the dead, couldn't believe the sight of it. An estimated 30,000 they gallons too. of blood wow. now lay spilled on the battlefield. Rome's I can't imagine stepping on all that. Sent shockwaves smells throughout horrible. Italy. <laughs> Just as Hannibal had hoped, most of southern Italy now defected to his side, wow. including the second largest city on the peninsula. Wow. Hannibal, this is incredible. As long as Hannibal stays what alive. Could possibly come next. He's going to die, next? isn't he? I don't. Jim Bob. <laughs> I've killed 150,000 Romans. I've turned her allies against her. That's it. That's vengeance so <laughs> let me tell you what comes next rome surrenders Oof. their territories are reduced to ash oh i thought he was gonna say we like salt our lost islands and carthage dominates the mediterranean once Forever. again oh well for a long time probably but sir what if they don't surrender jim yeah, bob they are romans did you miss what just happened of course they're gonna surrender Throughout yeah. his campaign, Man. Hannibal had shown himself to be very adept at reading the Roman mind. But if he now thought that Rome oh, might no. surrender, it was the first time he severely May underestimated them. Yeah. And he was about to discover an extremely huge. inconvenient fact about Rome. <laughs> Rome just didn't give up. Never surrenders. Yeah. At a Roman survivor's camp near Cannae, one young officer Must have been horrific. overheard some troops discussing how they would flee Rome. Drawing his sword, he threatened to cut down any man that would abandon Rome 
in its hour of need. That officer was Scipio the Younger. Ooh. But soon Bald. enough, the Romans Bald would come too. to call him Scipio Africanus, the hero of Rome. Hmm. Clearly. Oh, we finally got a part three. Do we have a release date? Probably not. But I just hope this doesn't take another, what, 14? Oh, really? I mean, it. we're going to see. It won't take a year. Don't worry. I'm sure because it took him so long, he probably has maybe half of it. I think half, I would say half of it's probably cut and ready to go. That's the only reason why I'm thinking it probably took so long. That was incredible. Learned an insane amount. I always knew that Hannibal was amazing, but like that, it, it's, it puts it all to, into perspective. I was talking about them making like a Hollywood movie. They probably don't even need to do that. Oversimplified already basically did it. You can't, you can't top that. Please go subscribe if you aren't already, which I don't know who's not at this point. I mean, he's like the biggest history channel by far. Still such a legend. That was incredible. Big thanks to my patrons. You'll find a link in the description down below to support me. The beautiful Megan Underwood. Drum your dad back with the milk. Look out. Side. A fat I normal. cannot sleep without Jack Drew's voice. Annoying Amateur archaeologist, Frederick Stibling, Inquisitor Joey, Zerius, John, Denver, Carino is Luxembourg, best girl. Sam, if you hear Robert, this, e. I love Tambrin, you. The Great the Mexican, 760, and Zany Boy.